Hey everybody and I'm back today with Mixed Daily Training. What is up? And today, yeah, let's have fun and let's go. Okay. Oh no! Oops! I, uh, uh. Guys, I accidentally, I forgot that I play, uh, oh, oh, oh. I forgot that I have ultra bullet time. Ah, hold on. I completely messed up. Uh, I, I forgot that I was last stream in ultra bullet. And then I, <laughs> I queued for an ultra bullet game. I'm playing MX Akhatur. Hello, good luck. Hey, Karma, what is up? Oh, that was a brilliant scene. Because <laughs> this guy doesn't want to play me. The un unlimited game abortion. How are you doing? G6, come on. Yeah, but should be should be able to win this. We don't know, we will see if they will. Okay. I mean, the position looks. Oh, I'm playing against Ferran 1815. So, I don't know. Yeah, this is winning to bishop c6 or bishop f7. Hmm? Yes, I've played this guy already once. Yeah, that was my brilliant scene cozy on and he just blooded a piece on move 10. It was unusual, but let's see what you'll have today. I thought you would go b6, but okay, sure. This is fine as well. Aha. Uh -huh. Bishop d3, trading of the bishops. Yeah, mm hmm. This, if I take, he takes. It's a fork. If I take, he takes here. And if I take e7, he takes e7 as well. So I think I have to take and then perhaps b4 or something. I'm doing good in for a potato. What about yourself? What are you doing? Aha, uh -huh, he goes b5 with the idea of like a5. <clears throat> and also, queen c2 with the idea of to take now. I couldn't take again because d takes c and a fork. Yeah, here. I mean, now it's it's a weird looking move, but knights are really good at d3 and d uh, d3 for white and d6 for black. So I'm gonna bring my knight over to d3 and see what happens. Takes, takes a4. I want to take. He gets rook a8, uh, rook f8. I can technically just ignore it and play h3 because my pawn isn't hanging. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do for now. Just to see what he does, what's his idea, like what's his play style, what's his mood, etc. It's gonna be tough to know his mood, but I mean, what is his intentions in this game? Hold on, if I put the cam a tad bit down, yeah, that looks great. Okay, goes queen d6. Yes, he wants to do something like queen here, queen there, and then get an open file. 
What I can do is play knight c5, trade this good knight, but then I'm going to play knight to e2, knight to d4, and I get another good knight. At the, only this knight will do useful thing. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. I'm not sure if this is correct to play, but it looks interesting. If queen e5, I think I'm just going to take, and then after take, play knight e2. Oh, he wants to do a queen trade. Whoa! How will he protect this weakness? So I'm gonna go knight d2, knight b3, but then rook b1, and rook a3, knight, rook d3. I mean, this is gonna be a brilliant square for my knight. Then I may wanna take knight c6. I go rook a4, but still knight d4. Ah, yeah, I missed rook a4. Nice spot for my opponent. Nice move. Suppose let's go here. This <clears throat> all right. My pony's hanging, that's a problem on B4. Um, <sighs> can do this. Here, he goes there, I go here, there, I go here. Hold on. This here. Rook a2. Knight c2, king b3 takes. I mean, I'm not sure, but I'll try it. It looks weird. But I think if I get my king all the way to b uh, to b three, it should be fine. Here, the the idea is that the pawn is hanging, so he has to spend time going king up eight, bringing his king to d seven, and I will bring my king to b three. Mm, king e two, king e seven, king e three, king d seven, king c three. Here, king b three. Oh, but he's gonna get a million checks. <laughs> okay. This, 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 rook a2, ah no, but wait, if I play rook a2, here, 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 rook a2, ah no, there it should be okay, I think, or maybe not. I mean, I always have knight c2, no, I, uh, it's, I don't have, I have b5. And then after he takes, he get 90 CBC draw. Yeah, I'll go Kenny too. I'm not sure if it's correct, but... It should be somewhat risk-free position. I don't think I'm risking to lose really much, but... I don't know. E4, by the way. E4 idea is to take ruin, uh, create a passer for myself and ruin his pawn structure. He cannot take. If he goes through 8, I can take, take rook 8, 2, king c3. And I think I like that. Maybe I missed something, but it looks interesting. Because if I get this passer, I mean, it can be very scary. Yeah, it goes here. If b5 now, I want to take, takes, takes, b5 hanging. Or no. Ah, but b5, he can check. 
then he takes I get b6 I suck a pawn gets knight d3 mm, explain very quickly as well I think I'm gonna take and rook a2 preventing a2 because wouldn't want him playing a2 and then my idea is like either to push get my king to b3 knight to win this pawn or maybe something else I'll get in mind maybe something like knight b5 getting knight to c3 I don't know we'll see b5 and I guess rook c8 Knight c6, king d4, king d5. I'll try that, because why not? Because, like, if b6, he simply takes c5, b7, king c7, is in time. If c6, he gets king d6, I cannot push. But knight c6, my dear, is king d4, win this pawn. If I win this pawn, knight is loose, and then I can try to push my pawns. So, it looks interesting, I think. Nice poem, Karma. Very nice. Spend hours to create and think about it. Yeah, you definitely didn't use a little friend, did ya? Oh, and I finally made this guy think. Wow. This took 33 moves. <laughs> yeah, king d4. Idea to take. Maybe idea is see my idea is knight to e5. Getting rid of this knight. Takes, takes. I want to take this pawn and then take this pawn and push my pawns. Mm -hmm. King d5? I'm just struggling to find the continue. I mean, sure, f6, some mating nets perhaps. But can't I push simply? I'm gonna push? How is he mating me? He joined it, thanks. 95, I don't like it. Honestly, no, I think I mean, I'm gonna gamble. Maybe I missed some force mate or something, but I don't see anything. Simply want to push. Ah, now he's offering a nitrate? What? No, but this cannot be good, can it? Not sure. What if I take, take c6, king c5, b6, crook e2? I'm gonna take for sure. Yeah, c6, king c5, b6, if king d8, I can check, king c8, b7, if king b8, I get rook e2, I think this should just win, win maybe even by force, not sure. My idea is this, rook a3, king c5, g5, okay, king b4, this, maybe I miscalculated and it's not winning anymore, don't know. The time is somewhat long. Okay, G3. G6, I go here. Or G6, I go here. Here. Not sure. Yeah, maybe I messed it up a little. Should have played something instead of c6. Perhaps just simply king c4. Goes g6. F4. Ah, but. Mm. Yeah, f6. I saw the 5, but he isn't forced to take. Oh gosh.
Let's see a win. And my time is super low, oh my goodness. Try something. I know, but this lose. Oh god, I missed, miscalculated. Hmm. Can I take with the king? The king d5 for every minute. Well, he has five. And I'll try my best. Okay, cutting his skin. I get through F3. Yeah, I was completely winning, which is a night trade, but then c6, I think, was a blunder. Unfortunate. Yeah, but he, he like, didn't think at all. It's very uncomfortable to play against. And position is super complex. You have, like... 30 seconds, well, he has five minutes. Okay, now let's see if he'll, he may be greedy, try to flag me, and he may blunder a rook. He may not be greedy and he won't blunder a rook. We'll see. Okay, I'm pushing him to the back rank. Slowly, ah, but not surely. Unfortunate stuff. Okay, maybe a rook blunder. Nope. Now I have to be careful. Okay, draw. 50 move rule. Good game. Yeah, I was completely winning. Oh, that's unfortunate. I I saw this is winning. I found that C7, A1, I get check. Here, this is checkmate. Oh, we made with a pawn. And if you go skin A7, I check, then I promote, and that's checkmate. But I completely missed it after rook C2, A2. This, yes, rook B5 check. Yeah, but this was, should have been completely winning. Yeah, plus seven. C6. I'm still winning. G3. 
I thought that I, uh, that he is forced to take. I don't know why I thought he's forced to take. I create an outside pass and I simply win. I missed f5. I should have played f3. If he waits, I get... Ah, now I get g4. And this is winning. And if he goes f5, I also I get f4. Yeah, that was bad. Completely messed everything up. Plains MX Akatur. He declined the first game. Maybe he'll play now. I don't know. Mm. Yeah, I played extremely well. Just just play F3 and this is fine. Yes, nothing. If this now you get B6, it's game over. It's just Zook's going for him. F5, F4, and F6, I get H4. Uh, yeah, H4, yes, nothing. He has to take, and then after F5, I get F4. Unfortunate. Yeah, sure, but later journey. Oh, even here I was plus three. I'm playing stack log. Look at Lucky's room, I don't know. Yeah, it felt better there. But, like, I just wasn't sure how far should I bring his skin away. Can have seven. Oh! No, but why? Alone. Yeah, for example. Yeah, yeah, Johnny. I found it. I saw it. This, I wait. He waits. Oh, h5. If he takes, I take. Oh, God. That was such a poor played game for me. Yeah, I was winning so many times. I mean, I saw this somehow. I could win after root g5. Still a draw. Yeah. Very, very poor. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know why I completely... I, I don't know what happened to me that game, honestly. I was doing so, so well. I outplayed, I managed to outplay him, and then boom, I get plus 9. Didn't find a win, I got plus 4. Didn't find a win. Yeah, I missed h4, h5 idea. I mean, stage 5 idea completely. I mean, I was like, well, h4, he just waits, what do I do? But, yeah, king of 7, g5, it's a draw. Only win is h5, and I didn't see it. Then, that's why I didn't didn't spot the, the w. Hmm. Yeah, but I didn't have much time to calculate. I spend it all. I spend it all somewhere here. And he was completely just not thinking for whole game. And that saved him. Should be six. Okay, rook c8. Yeah, but it was complex. I found g3, I missed f3, h4, completely missed h4, and then f4, or if he goes, or if he goes f5, I get f4, the opposite point, and then g4, I get h4, and he sends up zwang. <laughs> yeah, but here it was also completely bad that I missed h4, h5, because yeah, I take the pawn, his skin is cut, it, and that's game over again. <laughs> but I missed it. But it was nice that, yeah, here I was better. I evaluated the endgame correctly, that after E4 I'm better. Uh, I was not better, I was winning. <laughs> but I didn't win. Because I didn't manage to realize my advantage. So he's inviting me to play G5, I suppose. Uh, I think I'm gonna deny the invitation. Wait a second. Aha, uh -huh. here, here, here he gets bishop f6. 
It is cool. Or does he want? Oh no, he has simply rook d4, I suppose. It's rook c4. So all these complex li lines are unnecessary to calculate. The only line I'm not sure is whether I should accept the invitation and go king h8. And I'm not sure if this is winning or not. Knight d5. There I get bishop d5 if his queen is trapped. Okay, doing good. What about you? Hmm. So it's either this and I go for some uh, goofy positions or I go something. And I don't know what will happen. Probably some very boring game and then maybe I will be able to grind him out in the end game. Okay, g5. Take, take. King h8. Yeah, whatever, I'll go for g5, guys. Content is content. Maybe I miscalculated, I wouldn't be surprised if I did. Because today, at least in the game I played first, I played so terribly, I miscalculated many things. <laughs> yeah, bishop e4. I suppose I will take... I mean, if I take the take ninety four, then I'm actually happy with the position, honestly. I think I'm honestly happy with the position there. Because he has no threats. I'm gonna have active rooks, maybe some back rank issues for my opponent. It looks interesting. I don't have anything better, do I? F5 is an option, but it looks weird. Okay, D takes E. This. Do I take this E rook or C rook? I mean, e-rook makes more sense that I bring in more pieces to the center, I suppose, than like rooksy two ideas, but I'm not sure. Oh, what if I do this and I play rook c4, and if knight c3 I set up a trap, and if he goes like queen to f4, I can, I can perhaps even play f6 or something. And after rook c4, how does he save the knight? You can go knight g3, rook here, here, bishop f8. Yeah, I'm gonna go for it. like this trap. I mean, for sure he most likely won't fall for it, but there is still a chance that he will, and then the game will just be over on the spot. Will he even take? He's thinking. Okay, you're watching Mubot's channel. <laughs> Okay, I go to queen f4 immediately. Well, that changes plans, but hold on, don't I simply have bishop f6, i in this one? And if queen e4, I can play b5. I don't want to give my good bishop protecting my king and its square, so I perhaps will most likely play b5 or something like this. Mm, yeah. Knight d4 will simply take b2, I should be much better there. Or at least better, maybe not much, but for sure I think I should be better there. And what else does he have? Okay, just plays h3. Interesting move. Definitely wasn't ready for it. I mean, I mean, I wasn't awaiting it. I'm ready for every two. In chess I'm ready for everything, but... Uh, wasn't just awaiting it. Perhaps rook c4, protecting the pawn. Thank you, NFD, yes. Rook c4, if knight e4, I can go bishop d5, attacking the knight. And if he goes f3, protecting it, I can take rook e8. Hmm. Or, I do some, no, I think I like that move. Because this one is somewhat important to me. So I would love to keep it. I'm doing my best to, to keep it. Uh, I just want to see how is Magnus doing. 
my media of is winning right maybe it's not winning no it should be winning interesting okay and magnus after night of four he's actually slightly worse okay so magnus is struggling but night of four is crazy to see okay back to my game looking quite fine i think so far i mean i don't have any huge advantage but I, I would definitely prefer play to play with uh, a rook and two bishops because two bishop here is a huge advantage. It goes here. Whoa! Well, that was a move I wasn't ready for for sure. It looks so weird. Is it good even? On first glance, I have this, this, but he has queen if I check. Annoying check, honestly. But I mean, I can simply take. He has to take with the queen. And then, yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Aha, uh -huh, I think my pawn is hanging. So either completely not care about it and do something, or I can play like b5. And I think I'm gonna take. I mean, I'll have to take for sure. And then I think b5. Because, I, I mean, I have just three pawns left. I don't want to give them all up. But it's good that, because here he had an option to have three pawns. A queen and three pawns versus my rook and two bishops. But now he only has two pawns. Uh, the only thing I'm not super happy is that I would love to win a pawn, something like this. I would love to get the pawn from f7 to g7, that it protects the king. But, yeah. It has to keep the state defensive protecting my bishop but it should be quite fine as well because this bishop is really great so in a gray diagonal and yeah i'm not sure what he does if, if he does something scary for my bishop i can simply go bishop to g7 and he will never ever take it this knight is just not it's not in his power to take my bishop and it's yeah okay he goes through d1 offers a rook to eight. And I'm somewhat tempted to take and also to keep the rooks. Because bishops are super strong with the rooks. So I, I would like probably to keep the rooks more and play like rook g8. That's what I'm gonna do. Because his skin is, is somewhat weak. Two rooks and two bishops may may put some trouble. May put his skin in some trouble. Um, And yeah, it's definitely interesting, because trading rooks, I think it's going to make his life easier. Uh, because then there is no 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 sharp things. The rook and two bishops, with one bishop being half defensive, I don't think they can do much. Okay, that's a crazy line. This, this, bishop f3 here, g3, knight b5, rook d1. Only line. It's ridiculous to see. But yeah, in my opinion, is thinking, I also may have some rook h4 ideas to take h3. Also, like bishop e5, knight g5 already bring my knight. Because so far my knight isn't playing, it's, it's safeguarding the king. But if I'll get my rook here, there will be no checks from h4. What? Okay, what if what happens if I simply take? I'll go knight f4 or what? I guess so. Yeah, actually, interesting idea. Trading of my bishop. Mm -hmm. Nice find. Nice find from my opponent. I'm doing good by my hand. What about you? What if I play rook d now? I oh, know. Then you can simply take. Hold on. Rook d one. Rook on d one is hanging. Um, but no, I think I'm gonna take. If this is good, bishop a five or something. So I'm keeping the knight protected. This bishop is super strong on b. B uh, on this diagonal on b2 then i can also have bishop e4 rook c2 ideas i think it is fine
So, so at the moment I have rook and two bishops versus queen and a pawn compensation. Thank you, Ahayon. Ah, F7 is hanging. Goodness me. <laughs> we did everything today. But do I care about this pawn? I sure do, but I didn't see how I can protect the bishop and and the queen at the same time. The queen, the pawn. Uh, bishop, I'm thinking about bishop e4, queen f7, sack this pawn and try to do something. But I'm not particularly sure what to do. But I'll play bishop e4 because I don't, I don't like anything else. It's getting double-edged. That's what I don't really love. But okay, fair. Fair enough. He's also trying to create some problems. Is this bishop is a goat, pretty much? It's the best piece in my position by far. So rook c2, he'll go rook d7. Bishop, then this bishop will be a goat. Okay, I'll play rook c2. If rook d7, I will check, I think. And king h2, bishop e5, threatening and mate in 1. And g3, I get this. And g4, I'm not sure. Honestly, but we will see if that will even happen. But god, what, what is going on in this game? It's so crazy. Oh, he goes g4 now? Wow. Okay, what if I get my knight into attack and put my bishop into defense? I'm not sure, and time is already running low again. Uh-oh. I gotta make a move. I'm doing good right here, but how are you doing? How do I continue the attack? Okay, let's make him think. I'm not sure if this is a good move. We good here, nice. Oh, did I just land a queen e7? And the bishop, oh, I get, I get rook c4 or something holding, because if I move my bishop, my g6 is there. No, 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 no. Don't say nice moves, please. Okay, rook c4. I'm, I'm, I'm seeing it. Oh, but he gets rook d8. Oh my god, how much am I messing this up? <laughs> uh oh, chat. May get scary. May get scary. Because now he gets rook d8 and a rook trade. I think I wanna, if he doesn't, I will, I'll just play bishop f6. Forever preventing. Okay, he goes rook d6. Bishop f6. Oh my god, time. Wait, uh, queen e3 is, uh, bishop e3 is not an option. Yes, queen e5. He also go 9g6, so I suppose this. I mean, I doubt that he will take. Because it's weird. And I think I should be able to escape the checks, hopefully. What is going on in this game? Time. Less than a minute. And by the way, Peculiar says it's long, absolutely so, so long time to see. How have you been? I haven't seen for some months, right? How are you doing? Hopefully everything's good. Okay, it takes in G5, oh lord. <laughs> um... And also the bishop saying, you know, God. Oh my goodness, come on! Let's go! I 
I have less than 30 seconds. Why did I think for so much? Oh, and I blunder a bishop. Wow. Seven. Somehow holding. I hope. Oh my god! Let's jump tech log. What did I do? Like, how did I mess up such a great position? Whoa! Was it even good? I thought I was winning. <laughs> this is crazy. I thought I was like completely winning. Only move bishop g6 straight in off my bishop. I just have to bishop before I get worse. Yeah, but be, yeah, I saw this, but I was I thought I was better. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. Bishop c1 e3, that's interesting. Oh, yeah, bishop c1 was an option, indeed. But he has rook e1. Queen h5. Oh, and bishop h7 is more or less draw. Yeah, I don't know. I was better, but I was, I was like, sure I'm winning, because, I, I mean, look at these pieces, but somehow I wasn't. Only move was bishop g6 to keep advantage. Playing the drfbl, hello, good luck. Okay. Let's play e3. I mean, I know that this is a line. It's a uh, quite a po famous, popular line now at the moment. What if I go a5? Is it gonna be any good for me, or should I simply go something like this? Yeah, let's go something like this. My opponent is from France. Yeah, but last game was. I mean, I, it was complex as well. Like it was hard to calculate things. I was like thinking I was winning. I wasn't. And then yeah, there's a g5, I just had no moves. And I blundered, bishop f7, I blundered. My knight was hanging. Because otherwise I should have been holding, I think. It's like St. George? I think so. Perhaps. Yeah, I think you play knight f3, you make some move like e c or knight f6, b5, right? Not, not b5, move 1. But I've seen it happen against me. Some people have played it against me. I'm getting some college slash London, no, well, not London, but some unusual setups for my style, honestly. Okay, let's go bishop d3. Ready opening a04. But ready open, I think it's called ready open because I played knight of 3 no? I'm not sure how how big of a variety opening it is after that. Yeah, it's the Saint George, exactly. Unfortunately, Magnus didn't play it yesterday. He played a6, e6, boring chess. <laughs> yeah, this should be a draw. I wish he's even struggle. No, he cannot struggle. Okay. Go c3. Yeah, but it's definitely an unusual, uh, unusual setup. Especially b5 on move 1. Okay, take, take, I get rid of this annoying pawn. Maybe now I can get b4, b5 myself, or I can go like knight c4, oops, knight c4, knight d5 or something. Maybe even e4, e5. c7 can be a weakness, I suppose. Just gotta play quickly so that I don't get into any time troubles like I did in the first game where I was completely winning. I just threw it. Okay, knight c4, knight five. It's an idea that I like. Yeah. I know. Knight d5 looks interesting. At least it can be. I mean, sure, he has bishop d5. 
but at least it's like unpleasant to make a move like bishop d5 putting your bishop in front of a million pawns etc etc okay knight a5 i suppose he may play like queen c7 but okay let's keep in mind that he'll play let's have in mind that he'll play bishop d5 i don't know I like bishop a5 now and then like rook c1 or something like this and it's interesting this yeah b3 is hanging in the long run to take take Should I go rook b1 then? <laughs> yeah, I suppose. I don't want to lose this pawn. Bishop c2 felt weird. Maybe it was better, I don't know. And rook b1 can, can in future support b4. That is the uh, upside of rook b1, I think, as well. Oh wait, but Pechak, Pechak, oh, sorry, I don't know how to spell his name. He was completely winning. No, I don't know, it should be winning. Tari Drew, Hansen Drew. Honestly, not the best thing to do with white. Uh, he takes and take, then I guess he'll go d5. Urkadal, I mean, he should be holding. But you gotta keep that in mind. If this this uh, offer spill will win, if Magnus holds, because he's he's struggling quite a bit. If Sarona finds Knight of Three, if not, then then Magnus is for sure fine. Yeah, he gets Bishop before. Oh gosh, that's not great. <laughs> But then I'll play like queen e3, yeah, I have to take queen e3. If knight g4, you get queen f4. I didn't want to play queen f4 now because e5 is an option for him. But now if knight g4, queen f4, e5, I can take it and these things. Something like this. Then my idea is like knight f3 or maybe rook c1, but yeah, I think I should be alive, hopefully. Yeah, but bro broadcast died, I think. Okay, here, queen of four. Yeah, does he go 95? He might, but then like bishop here, rook there. Yeah, bishop c2. If something I get rook c1, should be alive. But I'm also doing quite okay on time. Uh, rook c1, I'm not missing anything, I hope. three extra minutes <laughs> depending on experience from first game these three extra minutes may come in handy <laughs> what's Magnus rating 20 is rating I wrong a five no 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 what does he do after bishop, uh, queen, queen e3, rook c3? Wow. Queen e1, queen d4, bishop, ah, this isn't hanging. Wow. Yeah, rook c3 is a nice move. This should be just like much better. Okay, 
Okay. My three minute time and energy. I cannot I cannot waste it. I gotta do something with it. But I don't know what. My knight feels like it's in the way, so but it can be good to jump to F three. Uh I'll go knight of one, I don't know. Yeah, he goes here. Queen e3. Oh, queen e3, this is hanging. Okay, I have to play rook d1. It's e5. Queen of 3 e4. Not looking great. Hmm. Okay, I'll go queen e3. I d4 bishop d3 attacking this, just just hoping that I can survive this somehow. Yeah, today I'm definitely playing very, very poorly. Okay, bishop d3 only move, I think. My idea is if, queen, if f4 I get bishop h7, this and this. Rook I don't know what I'll play, honestly. Okay. Okay, play say 5 I can try f4. If e4 I can take. E oh, but ef I cannot take. But I mean, I guess I can try to play like queen f2. Try to attack d4. Mm. I'll try a four. Nothing to lose. Just gotta try to try to confuse him. But maybe I'm just making blunders. I don't know. This takes if I take there is ninety two. So takes I should go queen of two, like bishop a six threads. Just 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 wanna create at least some some hopes. His time is more or less low as well. Maybe that can help as well. Complexity in time trouble. Okay, it goes here. If I take f4 bishop h7, what does he do? If I take knight c5? I guess so. Rook c1, knight d3, I take, and then I take. If take, take, yeah, what? I'll take whatever, I don't know. <laughs> I'm not seeing anything anyways today, so if I miss something I wouldn't be surprised, so that's let, let's not just waste time. Let's put pressure on him. Yeah, this I was thinking rook c1. If knight d3 I take, take, I take. If this, this, this I mean he can take b3 sure, but that's alive. I'm alive there. Um and if he goes rook d3 I take. If he goes knight d3 I take. He goes queen b3, and I should take, and then just pray. Like rook c1, rook c1, rook c1, queen d3, rook c5. And we'll just go for it. <laughs> I, I, I just, the only hope I think I have is put pressure on the clock and hope that he will. Uh, he will blunder under this pressure. F4 though, wow. Yeah, I'm missing. <laughs> missing many moves today. What? Oh! Bishop h7, unfortunately, doesn't work. He gets 92. That is really unfortunate. 
Oh, did I just lose a piece? I may have. Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, I need to make a move. I guess Queen H3. Okay, let's go. Let's swindle it around. At least try my best to swindle it around. <laughs> Yeah. Don't worry, as we say, right? Don't worry, everything is under control, chat. Don't worry. Don't, yeah. I take Queen D3. Oh, I'm getting checkmated. <clears throat> okay, at least I saw something today, but too late, unfortunately. Uh, okay. I don't see any moves. I mean, I see moves, but I don't see anything. I don't, I don't see good moves. Mm. Oh, I don't see a single move. Yes, I, I don't even see how, how I get away being checkmated. Like 92 or Queen E1. Hmm. See, I wait, but there is a Queen trade. And then he trades everything. Hmm. <laughs> Gonna try and hope. Told you, Chad, not to worry. 
told you not to. I don't know what he was thinking. That's a little sus. The same D R F B E L. He's from France. Why was he thinking? Like, how did he spend a minute like on basic mating moves? I I, I don't know. Like Queen G. Why would you spend fifteen seconds on the only move taken tonight? I I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Perhaps stress. Perhaps. I mean, okay, now it's somewhat obvious. 99 accuracy, huh? 97. Yeah. Yeah, okay, this guy was pretty strong for his level. Perhaps he was using a little friend, because like, why, okay, 92, okay, sure. Why would you think about, why would you think 15 seconds about Queen of One? Is there any other move? Why would you think 8 seconds about Queen G2? It's the only check in the position. Why would you think about 12 seconds about taking H2? Like, what would you play? Why would you think about only checking the position for... Yeah, this guy was super strong. So somehow I managed to get a win, guys. Let's go. I told you not to worry, did I? didn't I? <laughs> oh, but today I played so terribly. Oh my god, yeah, I played so, so bad yesterday. Okay, last game. Okay, maybe the last game doesn't count. The open was very good for his level. First game, terrible. Second game, terrible. Can you play after? Yeah, yeah, actually, join him. Okay, sure, 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 join him. Yeah. Yeah, let's play now. I forgot. Thanks for reminding. Huh. <sighs> Yeah, but really not happy with my chest today. <laughs> oh, should I wait? Should I first take an egg page? Okay, first puzzle complete. Nice. Oh, 3 0. Oh, my bad, 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 my bad. My bad. There you go. Let me claim it. Yeah, but this the third opponent was a little suspicious, wasn't you guys? Not thinking about some super obvious moves. Played 97 accuracy for his level. I mean, I don't want to... I don't want to... Yeah. I don't want to... Um, how to say? Suspect somebody... Uh, false suspicions, but... I don't know. Starting off is 1b5 and I'm playing some great chair. Mm. I don't know. But I don't want to false accuse anyone. <clears throat> Alright, Johnny, good luck. Hello, good luck. I'll go b3. Just spice things up a little bit because usually I go like C for D4, but now it's going to be C bishop B2, <clears throat> G3 bishop G2, castles, D3, here C4, okay, I'm not, I'm not sure if I like bishop D7, honestly. Bishop, I don't think it's placed oof, the best there. Okay, knight c4. Ah, okay, that is the idea. Bishop h3, nice idea. Th that makes sense now. Okay, I'll play rook c1. Okay, that explains it. Guys, just open uh, my last open in this previous game. It literally played 3 nil, uh, nil, nil, nil. He starts with some stupid opening and he plays 3 nil, nil, nil. Two games before that, 2 nil, nil. Then 2 nil, nil again. Hold on, Johnny, but I take in the rookie thing, and that's important. 
writing something. Not only the pre. Yeah, yeah. You just play Nils. One nil nil. Mama mia. Why didn't I check that before the. I was tilting. I would have checked and I wouldn't play this guy. But I was tilting so much. Oh my god, nil nil nil. He's just playing some stupid openings and then he's crushing everybody after that. Okay, queen c5, I'm a pawn up. a7 hanging, e7 may hang. Uh, I'm gonna play queen e5 check and then rook c7. Yep, rook c7, then e7. I think that's my first good game today. I mean, okay, first one wasn't terrible. First one was more or less okay, but I had to win it. I just didn't have much time to think. The guy was just not thinking. And, yeah. Magnus won? No way he did. L oh, Johnny, okay, he resigned. Good game, Johnny. Uh, yeah, you blundered the pawn. I think queen e6 was a waste of tempo. Like, why did you play queen e6 and then take? You should have taken immediately. I think that would have been better. Oh, Magnus won! Wow! Lucky. I'm just kidding. Okay, so how is... Uh... Oh, Mami Diarov didn't win. Oh, so I'm not the only one who doesn't win today. <laughs> ah, so his team loses then, right? Yeah. Ah. Okay, Sadvani won. Yeah, Offer Spill won even, even if Urkeda loses. Cool. Novi Bar. Guru won against Bartel. Today is a bad day for many strong players. <laughs> uh, wait, why is the game not analyzing? Okay, Journey, let me analyze the game real quick. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna quickly solve the puzzle. I'm gonna analyze the game. I mean, what makes sense to me is Queen d5, offering a Queen trade. Attacking the Bishop at the same time. I'll go for it. It wasn't correct. Oh, there was a D for uh, I take, and then Bishop D5 and this thing. That's a nice puzzle. Um, Okay, rook d2. This is a forced win, is it? Yeah, that was a forced win, very cool. Very nice. All right, Johnny. Ah, the game is not being analyzed. Annoying. Yeah, but my opponent in game three was a brilliant player. A very very brilliant player. All games so one nil nil or something. Yeah, he makes like stupid opening. Who plays knight of three? Why would you sing fifteen seconds and play knight of three against Scandinavian guys? What? And why would you think twenty five seconds about ninety five? Oh no, this is ridiculous. What other move? What other move makes sense? Ninety one or what? Nightish for trap in your light? Oh, this is crazy. And Johnny, the game is not being analyzed. I'll solve puzzles, maybe it will uh, be resolved then, because, yeah, I don't know. I won't analyze, but it's just not being analyzed. Very interesting style to play Knight of Sync 15 seconds, play Knight of 3 against Candy. I think 25 seconds against only moving the position in g5. 
as I said again, I do not want to false accuse anyone. I'm just trying to speak with the facts because because this looks quite obvious that it's unusual behavior. <coughs> Sorry. <clears throat> okay. So knight d4 only checking the position. I'm a root down, so I have to find a check. King g5. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, knight for king g5. And the king escapes. <laughs> what if I play g3 with the threat of mating one? And also with the threat of going here, here, here. Looks interesting. It has to be a check. I had joined in, the game is just not being analyzed. Weird. I mean, I hope it... Ah, now it analyzed. Okay. Good. Uh, I'm tempted by G3. But I think I'm giving him a lot of time. I feel like I should do some check or something. But I don't know. And perhaps bishop d2, perhaps rook g7, perhaps knight f3. Don't know. Don't know, don't know, don't know. h4 maybe. <clears throat> yeah, I'm thinking so too. But I'm struggling to find one, for example, after knight to h5. <clears throat> I'm gonna trust my intuition, yeah. How? What is the move, huh? Right. It's H4. Ah, F3. Ah, tilted! Okay, and then I made. Okay, yeah, but I don't know. I thought I tried H4. Okay, I have to take. I have to play King G2. And here, that's I think they're probably going to be the only thought uh, of, the game, of the puzzle. Uh, rook a3, queen e2, rook f2, rook g6. Mm, <clears throat> I'm not sure <clears throat> if I'm good after, because I mean, the, the goal I think is to win, but after this, this rook g3, rook, oh god, rook g3. Queen e1 here here the the best I have is a draw. So perhaps it then it makes me think that it's not rook a3. <coughs> Just maximum what I have there is a draw. But then like what else can it be? <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Ah, queen d2? Yeah, and then I protect everything. Okay, nice. Um, Jenny, hold on. I'm gonna finish solving puzzles. So I'm gonna list your game. And list game means life openings. Maybe not life, oh, life openings. Two of them were life and then one wasn't so life. But 
Oh, uh, and then I'm gonna end the stream. I'm gonna click on what to do because I think in last game I did <laughs> already play him. So I don't think it's necessary to play him again. Okay, can H3? Here, F3. King of two. This, 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 this. This I'm good. The yeah, it should be king g3. Uh, if king g2 now, he gets bishop c5 so that I cannot push. If we go f3, king of 1 I win, but he has bishop c5. f2, king of 1. King of 6 is winning. Yeah, nice. Nothing prevented me from doing that. The scene I didn't get from it is happiness. <laughs> no, just kidding, it's fine. Uh, check, check! Has to be check, right? Yes. Uh, some similar I think Arma you had against Martian Blitz, right? In the Evans Gambit arena. Okay, now what if I take? Go here and kin H8. I guess a check from here. Okay, bishop d6, g3, queen f2, queen g2, bishop g3, queen g2, uh, king h1, queen e1, queen g1, rook e8, is any species just there? there? And rook e8, these pieces are just dead, right? No, it wasn't even this, it was queen of two. And then check, mm, okay. All right, take, 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 here, here. Can be interesting. Yeah, I think I'll go for it. It was the other move order. What was the difference between the move order? I literally had it solved. Oh my god. Like, really, why not take it and take? He has bishop 8. So it, uh, I, I was going for this position. No. Ah. Okay, knight b4. Knight c4, I suppose. Oh, d5, perhaps? But, like, why can't I take an and take? Wait, should I play d5 or should I play d5? It's a question. A good question. D5, he even gets 95, doesn't he? What? I can get it. Honestly. I was a pending puzzle, okay. <laughs> I thought I'm just blind. I wouldn't be surprised. Fortunately, I wasn't. H G. What's the difference? Is there any dif I mean, there has to be a difference. Otherwise, it wouldn't be a puzzle, right? <laughs> um. H8 makes more sense, 
But usually in these type of puzzles, like the move which makes more sense actually makes less sense, you know? The reverse psychology. Uh, so is the reverse psychology here or no? Uh, or maybe even go king g6. Because he hits rook a8. Yes, this, this, is Because otherwise if I would go to the back rank, he would get rook a8. If I take, he takes, he takes his fight. And if I take, he takes his winning. Okay, I'll try to do one more because the previous one was pending. I mean, I suppose it has to be check. I cannot check more though, so maybe it's not check. Maybe I should play queen e6 then. King g7, I'm giving him a check, so I suppose king h7. Yes. What now? Queen h4? Queen f2? Nice! I think I even upped my rating. Last two puzzles carried the day. Yeah, I think I started like 30... Yeah, 3870. Nice. Okay, Johnny. 1-1 one, one for me, 4-1-1 one, one for him. Uh -huh, you have to play... You have to play queen c7 because we had to fight for e5 square. So you have to play queen 7 with a d of e5. I have to play knight e5. And now you have to play for d4. You would be slightly better when you shut the position down. Here you simply have to take. And perhaps, I don't know. Then yeah, b6 for taking the pawn, like queen b7, you are fine there. Because you blundered a pawn, and knight d7 blundered, mistake, you had to go for knight g4, uh, take the bishop like that. I still would be a pawn up, but it wouldn't be so clear. And then this rook d8, at queen a7, king j8 blundered, you'd go for f6, and here you resigned. Not the injury knee. Yeah, so pretty much you just had to, uh, first we ha both had to fight for e5, which we didn't, and then you just had to be, you didn't have to waste the tempo. For the bottom. Ah, interesting. And the last game I played, the guy I played in second game is still spectating. Interesting. Okay, let's analyze my game against. Teran, 1850, 4 nil 2 for me and 5 to 1 for him. Yes, it was fine. I got a slightly better position even. Rook 8 mistake, he had to go for knight b2, he had to go for rook e8, activating, he had completely win position. Here, f4 mistake, I had to go for f3. Now if f6 I go, I go h4, take, take, this, this, zoops, when I'm winning, this, h5, I'm winning. And if he goes f5, Because f5, I get f4, takes, takes, f zoom, zoom, and if g4, this zoom, zoom, as well. So f4 was a mistake. And here I had to go for, I had to go for what? I'd go for f5, and then king d5, and go for that pawn. Right, yeah. I wanted to, I, I wanted to do the same in the game, but I missed, placed it. Here I go for rook c1, rook f1 with a draw. I get completely win at h4. If king c5, I go rook a4. This h5, king g6, king f7, rook g4. This pawn is completely win. I go like king f6, rook e5, f5, completely win for me. But I had a little time, I missed it, and then it was completely equal. And draw through the game, Ferran 1850. Good game. I had to go for knight b2, rook e8, and rook c1. In the game against tech log. 2 1 nil for my opening, 2 1 3 for me. Yes, yeah, so the opening was quite drawish. Okay, g5, queen of 4 was actually not a mistake. g5, I thought I'm like winning here, but apparently it was just plus 1. And here my advantage just vanished. I'd go for bishop g6, I would be better. I really didn't want to give away my bishop. So I got to, this is rook f8 blunder, I'd go for knight, h, knight g5, bishop h7, and I shoot force a draw, otherwise I lose. He cannot take the rook because of knight g3. So rook f8, this, he had to go for rook gate, he would be winning. He missed it, and then I get worse position, bishop d5 blunder, I'd go for king g8, and then I blundered as well, and I blunder my tunnel stream, tech lock. Yeah, so bishop g6, but it felt a little bit unhuman to trade the bishop, which I really loved, at the position, just to trade it away for what felt like no reason 
it didn't make much sense to me during the game and in the third game against dr fbl one nil nil for him and six one nil for me castle was an actually should have played e4 and fight for the center d6 yeah, I got a worse position. Here I go for queen e3 still with more or less equality. The idea is that after knight d4 I go for rook d1 or what? No, but rook d1 e5. I'm worse, no? Oh, I go bishop f5. If rook c1 I get bishop e6, I'm better. Rook f5 I get the rook I'm winning. If knight f5 I take this, I take I'm better. If e takes f, I take, take, rook d1 and I'm better. And the best move for him is to c8, but then I get the pawn and I'm more or less fine. e5, yeah, I get completely lost. And this guy in a completely, completely one position. Here, knight d3, most obvious move. He thought for so long about it. And then, yeah, he was like six moves away from checkmating me. But fortunately, his time ran out in the same dr, fb, el. Good game. Okay, now let's analyze the games in chess base. What games are going still? Wait, Black were winning. Are they still winning? The evil bar crushed. Hi, Biagio. What's up? This is a draw, I think. I feel like White cannot win this. Urkadal holds as well, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, uh, offer spill won, so perhaps White will just stop trying. But I think Broadcast died again. Because everybody flagged. Unfortunate. Okay, how are you doing? How are you doing, Biagio? So wait, Novi Bor, Kaima was for Novi Bor? Navara is for Novi Bor and David Anton is for Novi Bor. So if Navara wins this, which he should, he the his team should win. Okay. Interesting. Alright, I'm gonna skip the opening part. It was super pooper equal super duper equal. Uh Quincy two ninety six. Should have played a4, stockfish says, stockfish says 91 is a mistake. Should have challenged his pawn structure. And after a6, go like rook fb1, uh, knight c4, go 91, knight d3 with equality. Okay, knight c4, this a5. Okay, that was a mistake from my opening here to shut this down. This would be a weakness and you would be slightly better. Okay, this is knight c5. Takes takes queen of queen g6 takes takes knight e2 knight wait aha a g is and it actually should have taken f takes g and then after knight e2 go knight e2 and rook e1 knight b3 knight b3 here here this pawn is so his rook can get activated through this rook e d1 rook f8 with equality. Because in the game 92, he again had to go for 92, rook a4 was a mistake. He had to go for 92. This is rook a b1, but now rook a3, I get rook d3, and I would be slightly better. Rook a1, rook d1, take, take, 92, rook b2, 94, take, take, rook d2, with rook d6, I guess, and I'm slightly better. Okay. And if you would have f pawn, he would have like rook f6 or something, I suppose. Okay, knight d4. This, yeah, I get a much, much better position. e4. This is a mistake here to go for knight to b2. King c3, d takes e. And then f3, ef, knight f3, rook a8. Knight e5, king e6, rook e1. This, I take, I'm 13 and mate. He has to go here. King b3, knight b2. 95 and it would be better anyways, but in the game I just get completely, completely win position. Um, this is a blunder. I should have played f3. If f5 I go f4. This I'm winning and if he goes f6. If he goes f6 then there is h4. Take, take, f5. 
F4 and I'm winning. A GF, GF, F6, King B4 was final one. I should have played F5. I still would be winning after King D5 or something. Rook B5, King E6, Rook B3, King F6, Rook H3, King G7, King C6, F6, completely winning as well. But I missed this as well. King B6, this was equal for some time. Rook C5, I here to go for Rook C1, King E6. We see equality. King E6, this is. And here, instead of king f7, I should have played h4. He goes somewhere, like king c5, I go rook e4, he's waiting. I go h5, rook h5, king f6, king g6, and I push the pawn, and I'm completely winning. And then, yeah, it was drawn. It was the same stream, fair on 1850. It's unfortunate that the broadcast dies, actually, um, because it's time trouble every for everybody. So it would be interesting to to see broadcast perhaps. Maybe let's open Sir Chess24. And then it's tech log, let's analyze it on chess base. Let's see. Ah no, it's even it's like on the chess, it's completely dead there. It's just like the game which was which is on move 80 is on move 40 there. Oh dear. That is interesting okay so out of the opening it was fine queen f4 slight inaccuracy should have played queen d3 he would be slightly better than like 92 94 be slightly better g5 this is is should be four this is is queen f4 here some inaccuracies f3 same mistake though he should have played rook to b1 b5 92 Rook c5, b4, rook g5, knight g3 with equality. And bishop b4, big, big mistake. I should have played bishop to g6. I really didn't want to trade this bishop, but I should have. Now I have queen, bishop c2, rook f1, f6, then something like bishop e4, bishop e5, and it would be better. Uh, and if he takes, then I take rook g6, seems like king g7, knight f6, rook c2, should be winning. Okay, and then yeah, I got a worse position, rook f8 was a blunder, I should have played knight to g, not rook g5, of course, that's a stupid move, but knight g5, uh, this, bishop h7, rook g7, check, here, check, here, check, here, check, here, check, here, check, 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 and the draw. Queen e7, rook c4, rook d6 was a mistake, he should have played rook d8, trading the rooks. Um, king g7, queen d7, king g8, queen e6, king h8, here, here. I don't know. h4, pushing the pawns, oops, pushing the pawns like this, he is completely winning. Bishop f6, takes. Great move from him, otherwise, yeah, I, I, I didn't think he would play it, uh, but he found it, then g5 only move, h4 only move, h5 only move, h and bishop d5 was a blunder, I should have played like king g8 and just pray, for example, h6, rook f7, so h6 is a mistake, only move is g6 for him, and it seems like bishop d5, g7, here, here, rook c8, King g3, rook f7, gf, he would be better. And then I blundered mate in two, which I'm not gonna lie, because I was already dead lost. And I lost him tech lock. Good game. Which wasn't so good for me, but he played extremely well. Uh, yeah. Three forty two. And the final game for today, which was perhaps by far the worst played for me, but my opponent played extremely, extremely well for his level. Uh, played against DRF, uh, played against DRFBAEL. So here, castle. This D6 was, or no, G4. Okay, this is a little crazy for human, I think. This was an inaccuracy, he should have played d5, when he already equalizes. Uh, 
Okay. Bishop f5 for sending accuracy, even though I thought it was the best move. I should have played bishop e2. It's an equal position. Queen b8, rook b1. d5, 92, take, take. This was a mistake. I should have retreated and make him take. And then after a5, rook fc1 would be equal. It would be fine. Rook c8, rook fc1. Uh, f5 was a mistake, it was a really weird move, but okay, yeah, here go for simply g6, with the idea of like a5, knight c6, for example, I don't have any moves, I'm like in Zug's line, <laughs> this is funny, for example, this rook c3, I have to go here, d takes e, knight c5 would be much better, knight f1, a mistake back from me, I had the only move here, Alright, that wasn't even good, yeah, because I, I was planning, I was thinking to, wait, what? I know here, it was one move later. Yeah, because there I had, he had rook e3. Uh, but here, rook e1 was a mistake from me. I had to go for queen e3. And the idea is if knight e4 play brilliant bishop f5. After rook c8, bishop d3, this is equality. Okay. He played e5, and then, yeah. I get completely lost position, but he spent too much time, and then I, I get I flagged him five moves away from getting mated, and it was named DRFBEL. All right, this is it for today. Scuff stream, not super happy with my chess, but managed to get a lucky win. And but puzzle solving was pretty good. Thanks a lot everybody for watching. Don't forget to join the Discord to name some well team and what else team. Have a fantastic rest of your day, everybody. Bye Biagio, bye Seth Landin, bye bye Hang, bye Pocket Money, bye Jundi, bye Karmar, bye Nilad, by Tres. Hello by Mbappe of Chess, by Galvin's Uncle, by Peculiar States, by Puki, by Inferno Potato 25, and everybody who's here, have a fantastic rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care, everybody, and bye-bye.